the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. I want to talk about an issue um, that has now been resolved. Mm. Uh, it was happening at a Clarkson Parkson. Hey. <laughs> it sounds um, exotic because yes. it's called Las Ramblas. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay, From Spanish. Barcelona. Now, mm. a resident had been complaining about a noise. That's the noise. That's the swing, Sean. The noise of a swing. Now, uh, people knew... The sound knew, of children having fun. The people <laughs> knew that there was a resident that had complained about the noise and they were shocked to find, whether it came from this resident or not, that the swings had been padlocked together. <laughs> <laughs> the today. Ah, that's how I'll stop it. So no yes. one could make that noise. Oh. Now, uh, the local council had to come down. Mm. Uh, they lubricated the swings, oh, took nice. the padlock off. So they saw a problem, they came and fixed the problem. Solution just focused. focused. Uh, but we thought it was pretty funny and we just thought um, who can we get on to speak about this situation? Straight to the top. Straight to the top of Wanneroo. She's the mayor. Her name is Linda Aiken. Hello, Linda. Hello, how are you? Good morning, morning Linda. Linda. Your Majesty. <laughs> oh, no, don't you dare call me that. I'm just the mayor. Oh, yeah, I know, but we were talking about it earlier. I asked the mm. guys if you had those um, bedazzled jewels that you yes. get as being a mayor. The WWF um, a wrestling belt around. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't you wear that out to various gigs just for the show? <laughs> no, I only wear it in a council meeting or at a citizenship ceremony. Mm. The rest of the time, it's locked away. Yeah, but, but, but okay. But what if you like, what if you wanted to go to a restaurant and get a bit of a discount? Wouldn't or a you, good you, table? You, you'd chuck it on, wouldn't you? Go to the shops? Nah, no. Nah. Nah, it's it's too blingy. No, well, oh, no such oh, it depends on what you're wearing, obviously, Linda. Yeah. I yeah. guess. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, and does the mayor get her own car park everywhere she goes? Like, does. Well, surprisingly, I often do. Sometimes I don't, but I often do, yeah. Mm. That, okay. That's the perk. That's, that's the perk, mm. yeah. Well, um, uh, Mayor, Linda, let's pop down to the park. Yes, um, we're down to yeah. Las Ramblas Park. Uh, yes. Uh, did you actually hear the noise from the swings and was it uh, uh, loud enough to uh, warrant, this warrant a complaint? Look, I haven't heard the noise from the swings. Um, I saw the article just like you guys, yes. and um, I thought about it. I thought, I've had people complain about the cockatoos squawking across the road. <laughs> yes. You know, um, I, 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 there, there is a name for it. I've looked at it, and it's called misophonia, and, yes. It's, yes. and it's people who really can't stand specific yes. noises. Yeah. I mean, my daughter won't let me eat pork crackling because she sure. can't stand the noise that they when I eat it. You know what I mean? So Do you know people though. that suffer from that condition that you're talking about, Linda? Uh, some people have it to such a degree that they have to have someone at their workplace have a chat with another worker yes. because they listen to the way they breathe through their nose. Or, oh, my um, gosh. Yeah, or like they, or it's the way that they're typing. We're looking at Sean at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, Linda, but surely this resident hasn't just well why did they live next door to a park like did the park was was the park built after they moved there or because if you do have a, a, an adverse reaction to listening to swings don't live next door to swings i would suggest yeah i i don't know the situation but anyway before he bought there he would have known there would have been a park yes. and there would yes. have been swings there um and and really probably it would have been more cost efficient to use lubrication yeah, rather the pad than padlocks. Yes. But um, I, I understand where he's coming from, but you know, we have to look after everybody and I'd rather kids out playing on the swings than sitting in front of their iPads the whole time. Yes. Um, but we are sympathetic and so we've tried to do everything we can by lubricating <laughs> yes, yes. repeatedly, repeatedly the chains. And now we are going to cut this, this up and times. use it all week, <laughs> Linda. They've actually had to our contract lube mobile to actually come by and give it a regular lubing. <laughs> well, why not? Why not? Yeah, but but we're, we, we are going back to our manufacturers and just seeing if there's anything they <laughs> can do to really? minimise the sound. <laughs> but, but, you know, um, I, I would rather see kids being healthy and being outside. Mm -hmm. I know it's school holidays and you've got the teenagers around and everything like that. They'll be back at school soon. And um, But it's better that the they're doing healthy silent. stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, then yeah. Causing yeah. So, so, Mayor Linda, I, I saw that uh, in, in your bylaws there's so many different rules and regulations mm. when it comes to noise complaints and when you can use stuff and yes. blah, blah, blah. But if people yep. are coming at you with swings and stuff left, right and centre, is there a point where I know you have to appease 
uh, the ratepayers sometimes by going, yes, we're going to take care of it and we'll have a look into it. Is it a case where you just go... Yeah, piss off. Yeah, or, tough yeah, enough. Or, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, when, it's when Linda's up late sewing muzzles for cockatoos. <laughs> <laughs> Have you we, got to tell people to get as, a grip? As you know? a city, the staff deal with everything that's within their control to deal with. Right. And, <laughs> and so that's why we've been out there and lubricated it and that's why <laughs> we're going to the manufacturer to see yeah. if there's something that we can do. I know, you know, sometimes the, yeah. things get squeaky, you yeah, know, yeah, and yeah. and um, but what about maybe another we need solution, to look at- Linda? Why don't you just give him some earmuffs? <laughs> Well, we would need to discuss it with him. I haven't met him, um, but if he suffers with misophonia like my daughter does, yeah. I can understand the tension. Yeah. But at the same time, we serve the whole community mm. and we'll do our best to mm. help him with his situation, yeah. but we'll serve the whole community yeah. Um, yeah. and that's important. I think moving forward, looking at the manufacturer to see mm. if you can get another product is the way to go. Because, um, I mean, I'm, I'm worried about you. What's your lube budget? <laughs> there for the well, how expensive is Vaseline? <laughs> well, we don't I mean, know. but you can We're be using other stuff the there. Volume. You can use you stuff are. that's edible. I'm sorry, are you uh, different flavours. I love, I love how Linda thinks you're Vaseline. <laughs> I swing. <laughs> <laughs> not the CRC or the but WD40. WD40. Oh. Well, WRC is not that expensive either. Oh. You know. Uh, yeah. All right, good I'll tell you what, we know oh. the, the mayor of lubrication, uh, Linda. I tell you what, I'd vote for you, Linda. Yeah, every day of the week, again and again. Every day of the week. You're doing yeah. God's work, Linda. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> Thank you. You yeah. have a good day, Thank guys. You so much. That yeah. lubrication going. Oh, we'd like to talk to people, right? Because yes. here we are, and you know, we are yes. we are demonising this guy. I'm thinking it's a guy. The guy. That I'm, that I'm, that that I'm going with the guy. I'm thinking it's a man. It's a grumpy old man. Um, but yet, I mean, the sound of a yes. swing going 24 hours a day, it would end up driving you insane. No, I think it's over the top. Also, it's not going 24 if hours you've got a day. That, what's it called? Misses something or other. Yeah. Oh no, you're, you're very yeah. You're very um, and she was uh, like, "I love miso." Yeah, yeah I do, I do. Yeah. Miso card. But, but you know, have, have, you, have you ever had? Have you ever had a noise that is just like non-stop, and it might just be quite simple, but yet after a while it drools into your brain. This is what this guy yeah. might be going through. Very cool. That's what we want to talk about. Thirteen, twenty, four, ten. We want to know if you've had to put up with a simple noise or if it's happening right now that drives you absolutely insane. When you complain about people go, oh, it's the only sound of a swing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, yeah, but you don't understand. That swing, it just drills into my brain. Yeah, did you fix it with lubricating the <laughs> device, the pole? If you've got a good lubrication story too, hit us up, why not? Yeah. We're talking about the, the noises that you just cannot bear. Mm. Like the swing in the park in Clarkson yep. that drove a man, we presume... To padlock the swing so the yep. kids couldn't use it. Yeah, so we're all, oh, what a grumpy old yeah. bastard, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Well, then we're thinking, wait there, that noise all the time, it might make you insane. So let's go to Gemma in Allenbrook. Hey, guys, how are you? Hi, Gemma. Gem. Um, simple noises that drive you insane. So we've got a lady that lives across the road two doors up, and when we moved in a year ago, our other neighbour said, watch out, if your dog's bark, she'll put a letter in your uh, yes. letterbox. Yep. Anyway, we haven't received that yet because we're hanging on to that because she's got a blower vac that she likes to use <laughs> God knows how many times a day, but she doesn't hold it on. She goes, vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> And she does, no, she does that before she mows the lawn. So then, of course, she mows the lawn and then there's grass. So guess what? Let's get the blower vac out again. Vroom, vroom, vroom. So you know what she's doing with the blower vac when she's not doing it for the grass? Or where she's blowing? No, no, she, she, she's just there. I think she just likes turning the button on and off. Oh. Maybe it's more enjoyable for her, I don't know. But we're on holidays because we, we work and we see mm. her every afternoon out there and then we're on holidays out the back by the pool with our water feature on. Beautiful serenity until we could yeah. hear about three times a day. Mm. <laughs> 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 have, you a letter, have you got a letter ready to go? Yeah. Straight back at her, Jen. Oh, well, I'm telling you, that's why we're hanging on to this, because if she mentions our dogs, which we think they're actually pretty good, we yeah. thought, well, we've got something to come back yes. to you with. I love that you've got it re- locked and loaded. <laughs> exactly, that's right. <laughs> with a barrel in her face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is uh, too yes, funny. No, Thanks, I Jen. hear you too. Hi, Melissa. Good morning. Hi. Morning, Melissa. What's oh, yeah. the noise, Melissa? It's the radio. Oh, we're well, sorry. It's <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> Talk to us. What's going on? No, it's when I'm at work, it's a colleague, and this colleague sits right behind me, so the radio actually faces me. Yeah. And I can't concentrate. I can't do my work. 
So I get in work early and leave late just so I can get through my work. I didn't realise that someone would be allowed to have something like that without using it with, like, you know, with headphones or something. Yeah, great. Yeah, no, not in that. <laughs> um, is she? Is it? What, what station she got on the radio? I think ninety six. Point one. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's terrible. No wonder. It? We, we're sorry if you're suffering. Oh, God. It's all 80s, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, oh, we're too young for that, so I don't know. <laughs> that's a great point. Oh, we're, just exactly. in, we're, just, we're just in our 30s, so yeah. I wouldn't even know what some of those songs are. <laughs> I only know Kylie Jenner. And, I know, but for the and, love of God, Melissa can't do any work. <laughs> yeah, tickety tops. Look at us go. Tops. Thanks, Thank Melissa. All right, thirteen twenty four ten. Is there a sound yeah. mm. in your world yeah. that is just unbearable yeah. to you? To everybody else, it might just be a regular sound, but yeah. to you, it is unbearable. And um, if someone at your workplace is um, gotten over on the radio, mm. just shut your mouth and let That's it happen. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> just soak it up. You're yeah. so lucky. So lucky sometimes in your life there is a noise that you have to hear repeatedly that drives you nuts. Yeah, this is uh, what happened at a park in uh, Clarkson. Uh, the guy that was complaining to the local council about this was so enraged, we think it was him, uh, that he went and um, padlocked these swings together. And we think it's a guy too. We have no real information no. about the person complaining, but we think it's an older no, well, a, man. A woman would never buy a padlock. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. Well, what's she doing in Bunnings? Exactly. She should be at Kitchen oh. Warehouse. She should hey, go straight to the lube. Yeah. Here's <laughs> Jess from Fern- Morning, Jess. Hello, how you guys going? Great, Jess. Now, what's the sound that you can't stand? Um, So, obviously, being summer, sitting by the pool, I've got two young kids, one and three, and icy poles, and my three year old eats it with his teeth. Oh. And my teeth are highly sensitive, um, so it just goes through me, the sound of teeth going through an icy pole <laughs> and that grating noise. Are we now, talking like a funny face or something, Jess? Um, it's the cyclones. The yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So it's a real grating mm. noise. It's a tough one, isn't it? Because it's not like your child is doing something wrong, no. wrong but yet I'm guessing you want to tell them off. <laughs> and you love them less? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get full shivers and goosebumps. Like it, I just, like, react, full body reaction. And have oh, you tried to get, get him to stop? Um... I've tried to get him to lick it, but he's, he's, he's a teeth eater. <laughs> yes, Jess, I'm going to put this out there. I just say, we're going to get a grab of what you just said and yeah. play it non-stop on the radio. <laughs> Jess, <laughs> Jess, you're in control of the supply here. You know this that, right? This is true. You can this just not true. buy the icy poles. It's summer. <laughs> and kids are stupid around that age as well. Yes. Just tell them that the world ran out. Yeah, yeah like, just get him an ice cream Yeah, one. it's late in oh. summer. There's none left. Oh, no. <laughs> don't get him he a freezer. He knows how to check the freezer. No. It's like when parents tell children about Christmas. Don't tell them until they're like, like they yes. have to know it. And yeah, until they're actually <laughs> actively asking. <laughs> Thanks, Jess. Thank Sharon's in Craigie. Morning. Morning. How are you today? Hey, Sharon. Great, Sharon. Jazz. Okay, what's the noise that upsets you? Oh, far out. You know when you have your bin days and your neighbours leave their bins out? My bedroom's right at the front of the house. So all during the night you hear the do 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 from the lid flapping when oh. the wind catches it. It drives me in pain and it goes for days. They just stay take their things in. <laughs> Your interpretation of a bin threw me out earlier, yeah. but I'm on... Oh. sounded a bit like Axel Foley, didn't it? Can you, do, can you make the noise again for us, Sharon? <laughs> so windy bin lids is what yeah. I said. Windy bin lids. This is too much fun. Oh, you're never going to be Michael Wind Winslow, are you? Bin lids. <laughs> I can I tell you, it'd be hard to hard to garner sympathy from other people with exactly. windy bin lids. Isn't That's it? right. That's so true, Sharon. I know those damn neighbours just take your bins in. Yeah, put them down properly. Oh, yeah, no, no, wind. no. But sometimes you know, on a windy night, yeah. bin lids slip up and down, sure. And then you can't put a weight on there because then when they come and collect it, um, are, are you yeah. saying after they've been collected or, or when they're still full? Yeah, okay. Well, on the real windy night, yeah. yes. it's usually before, yeah. but then even still, after the collection, if they leave their bins out, you just still hear that yeah. thud noise. And then yeah, there's, there's more resident too because it's, cause it's then empty. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 We're sorry for your suffering, Sharon. Right, we're with you, Sharon. Well done. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we come on board. Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. The year is 2023 and um, I would just like to preface what I'm about to say by uh, stating the fact that we are very easygoing and we do not like to whinge. And we don't don't whinge, we don't like to 
unless we're provoked. Normally, <laughs> so one of Australia's major home good manufacturers wants their workers to be able to exchange regular public holidays mm-hmm. like Australia Day. Mm-hmm. The days they think are more important. It's our Unilever, Australia and New Zealand have been trying their interchangeable holiday policies since 2021, which allows employees to work public holidays in exchange for another day off. There are many places that are doing this right now. Woolworths is one, Telstra, Channel 10 also give their employees the option to um, to work on January 26th, yes. acknowledging it's not a day of celebration for everybody. So so you could potentially have, uh, well, you could have the Queen's birthday, for example, and um, where we have a long weekend, and yes. you go, no, I'm not going to work, I'm going to work that day, yep. and I'm going to use it in some other time. Yes, that's At right. your choosing. Yep. Yes, okay. yes. Well, you know, we say that's quite progressive. We don't get the Queen's birthday off anymore, do we? It's the King's birthday now, isn't it? Yeah, I don't she's know. dead. I don't, yes. Does the date change then? Well, I mean, well, she'd be dead, so it, she doesn't get any more birthdays. But also, it wasn't anywhere close to her birthday anyway. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> we, I, don't, I don't think we, we just... We don't get in September. We don't lose it, do we? No, 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 no but I think it just becomes the, a king. Oh the king has a birthday, yeah. so I'm... Because we don't just collect them, because then we would have, like, no date, because there's been many kings and queens over time. Okay, Anywho, um, <laughs> turns out that our company has this policy. They do. So we can choose to work on Thursday yep. and then have... Uh, we can then take that public holiday at any time between now and the end of March is because the policy here. we oh. have a um, rolling That's argument really good. that it's no really good. one will be at work the Friday before that weekend. Yes, no cause, one. Because it lands on of a course Thursday, of course, yeah, yeah, everybody's yeah. going to yeah. do the bridge yeah. and make it a yeah. four-day so, long weekend. Anyway, we were alerted for the first time about this policy last year mm. in mm. which we said, oh, well, you know what? Then, bam, we will work on that Australia Day mm-hmm. Thursday I'm happy and to. then we'll um, have the Friday off. And we, as in uh, me, Nat and Sean, um, Harry, Amy, Ruby, uh, Sam, yes. um, Ellie, Ellie, our entire team. Mm. Maybe not Ellie because there's still news. <laughs> Oh, you're right. Ellie's the glue that holds this whole place together. Uh, anyway, and then we, when we said yes, we will do that, we were um, swiftly told um, that that policy is for everyone at Nova except for you. <laughs> So our boss, like, he said, oh, I have to bring it up. And then he brought it up. And then we said, OK, yeah, no oh, worries. We'll, we'll take the Friday off. And he went, <laughs> yeah, no, that's Everybody not else gets it except for you. And can I just say something right now? I love everybody that works up the other end of the building that does all, you know, the... The, the sales stuff. The, the Sally yeah. stuff and the financy stuff mm. or whatever. And I'd bet $100 million that on Australia Day, the ones that are choosing to have the Friday off as their public holiday, they'll be working from home. Mm-hmm. And I'm using air quotes. And well, the other thing <laughs> they Thursday. use is as salespeople, none of their clients are going to be. No, of course not. That's right. So it's not like they're going to client meetings or anything. They're not selling anything that day. So welcome nobody, to the three so day week for everybody else. They've made it a four day weekend. <laughs> I mean, great work. Ali, are you, right? Ali, are you in the grants? Are you in the grants in there? Right What's the question? Sorry. Oh. No, I'm listening. I just want to know exactly what you're asking. Are you in me. a grant? With what? We're getting ripped off. We should off. be able to get it. We Absolutely. should be able to get it. Absolutely. We're ripped off. We're always ripped off. We're the hardest done by we, people we, there are. Were you yeah. offered, Ellie? Were you offered? Because I know no, a I couple offered. of our members of our team are offered, which is bizarre. We want to know if you've been in a scenario where everybody else is getting something or they're offered something, except for you. <laughs> All right? Things that apply to everybody else, yes. except for you. We're going to open up the phones. I think Ross wants to call in. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give somebody a, a three hundred dollars to spend at Matilda Bay Restaurant. Oh. Nice. Matilda Bay Restaurants Cray on the Bay, fresh local delicious crayfish. We've had it. Just forty nine dollars from now until the end of March. All right, fellow sufferers, give us a call. Everybody else is allowed to do it except for you. We're, it, it'll be like group therapy yep. because we're all in this together. You might think we live great lives, but we are being we're victimised downtrodden. by our bosses. Um, there is a company-wide policy that says if you do not um, wish to celebrate Australia Day on uh, uh, January 26th, you don't have to. You can work that day and take a, a, a day off in lieu at any time between yep. now and the yep. end of March. Woolworths, Telstra, Channel 10, um, so many more um, uh, companies as well have yep. now taken this on board as well. Turns out, though, that we <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> uh, when we suggested we might want to to our boss, he just he literally laughed at us, like yeah. just giggled. <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we want to know if everyone is allowed to do it except 
for you. This is Group Therapy. Sue, hello. Hello, Sue. Hi, how are you going? Good, Good Sue. Hello. Hi. What's Hi, the story? Um, I do fly and fly out work and we've just been told our project dates of flying in and flying out are changing. So we actually have to fly out on our, the first day of our roster day off. Mm. Everyone else in the team is getting paid for it. I don't. I was told it's part of my salary. So oh, why the heck? But you're <laughs> the only one that that applies to. <laughs> yep, because so. I'm the white-collar worker being the health and safety rep and everyone else are, uh, like, operators of, of machinery. Oh, machinery. And yeah. So they're, yeah, so they're blue-collar workers, so they'll get paid an uplift for the half day and the extra night on site. I don't get paid it. <laughs> So are, are you seen as um, an employee and they're seen as contractors? Is that how it's viewed? No, no, we're all employees. We're all on salaries, but apparently blue-collar workers get paid it and I don't. <laughs> Can't you just swap your collar? Do they, <laughs> do they stop hey, you from I'm, eating at the I'm, mess on the night before as well? <laughs> So I'm happy to change the colour of my shirt if it means that I'll get paid. Oh. I know, but you'd have, to, you'd have to step out of the air con during the day, so... Yeah, yeah, it's going to be hard, Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, no, you're being stitched up, Sue. So we feel your pain. there or not. Thank you. Laura, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, Great, right, Laura. Laura. What's everyone else allowed to do except for you? Stay home. So my husband and myself, we both have to go to work on public holidays, but we don't get paid any extra to do so. Oh. And we both obviously send our children to daycare, but there's no daycare, but we still have to pay yeah. for the daycare day. Yeah, the daycare thing, it really um, drives me insane. Me because too. That's just absolutely Can I just say, because it's not costing them anything no, to have the daycare closed for that day. <laughs> no, no. I'm just really waiting for there to be a disruptor in the daycare yeah. um, sector who will come in and look at things fairly and go, okay, we're not going to run with this because everyone else does. Yeah. I think that people would f- would would line up I know. to be part of that. To not pay on a public holiday when kids don't anyway. go. You know? know? It's crazy, yeah. so, it? so can you tell us about the why you have to work public holidays and you don't get a Guernsey with that one? Uh, we both work in aviation, so public holidays don't exist. Oh, oh yeah. Because yeah. people like, fly all the time. <laughs> yeah. Now, do, you, do you not even get, like, double time or anything on the public holiday? No, it's just um, you, you will work and it's in your salary. You don't get any extra days off That's... or any double time. And aviation is in, like, um, you know, one of the big air carriers? Yeah, my husband's a pilot and I'm a flight attendant. Okay. Do you oh, ma- yeah, okay, okay. Can you, on those days, do you just hate everybody that's going off on holidays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit unfair. <laughs> Laura, it's a funny world. Like um, in the sporting world, it's the same. And I remember yes. speaking to um, guys who have left Fremantle in recent times in white collar positions, yes. and I said, "You won't, l- you won't know yourself. You have a public yeah. holiday." Yeah, that's right. Hey, Laura, I want to ask your opinion quickly. This is something completely different. I was reading an article last night um, that this woman um, was, you know, like I was so excited that she was um, flying, and you know, for her it was a big deal, premium economy, yes. um, to go on her honeymoon. She said the one thing that ruined it because you know, like um, she was acting like she was in uh, in first, first class. class. And I think that was just gorgeous. She said the one thing that ruined it was the woman that was across the aisle from her took her shoes off and her feet stunk. Oh, and I they just that. reeked the entire <laughs> uh, entire day. As a flight attendant, what do you what do you do in that scenario? Can you go and tell someone that their feet stinking to pop their shoes back on, or do you or can you not step in? Oh, I don't know. It's so awkward. How do you tell someone they smell? But they should not because they should well, know they think, smell. If your feet stink, I just keep it be common sense. People should know what's acceptable and what's not. Like yes. you still, like, you wouldn't take your shoes off at the shop. I know, but oh, so you say that. But they but do people it. Do yeah. yeah. So so or like at the, people do it at the movies. Like yeah. I think some people just don't have. Common courtesy when it comes okay. to being in a small confined chair. Right, so Laura, so I'm on that one. flight, right? So I have pressed my buzz like b- bell, and so has Nat. She's on another seat, and so is mm. Sean. Three of us have said to you, "Excuse me, um, that woman's taken her shoes off and her feet stink. What's the next move for you?" Oh, I'd bump it. Go to the cabin manager. They can deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so I'm on top. Right. Right. Yeah. I like your attitude. Someone else can deal with it. I love it's that. a public holiday. I don't get yeah. paid enough to do it. <laughs> Go I'd up the chain. It. Thank you, Laura. All right, 13, 24, 10. We want to know when everybody else is allowed to do something except for you and it feels like you are yeah. being 100% victimised. Yeah. You know what? We've been looking at this negatively too. Um, maybe everyone else... Um, oh, yeah. Maybe you get to do something that no one else gets to do. <laughs> I guess. Well, and it never occurred to us because, yeah. you know, the horrible Because we're downtrodden. We are.
Hi, Aaron. Hi. Hi, Hi Aaron. How are you? Yeah, we're wonderful. Great, Aaron. Um, are you the downtrodden one? Yes. We're yes, downtrodden too, so we'll it. really connect. <laughs> <laughs> so, my friends and I, this was when we were travelling Europe way back in the day. Um, we were in um, Budapest and yep. we thought we'd try the Turkish baths. Yes. Um, so, we were in there, we did the massage bit, which was traumatic enough. Yeah. And so, when they hit you like, go, with branches and stuff? Yeah, well, they're, they're big. Big ladies. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my son did it only a couple of weeks ago, Erin. Hefty lasses oh is what you say. Hefty lasses, yeah. It was, yeah, it was, they weren't, they weren't gentle, that's no. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then we went to go into the bath section, so the pool. So we went to our change room to get our bathing suits on and this large woman kept stopping us as we were coming out, telling us to take our swimsuits off. Mm. Yes. And we were like, no, no, we're just going into the pool. And she's like, she's like literally flicking like the, my friend's two piece. And she's like, this, this, off. <laughs> and we were like, no, 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 we're just going into the pool. And there's people walking past us. With bathers on. In bathers. Yes. And she made us, there was a group of us, and she made all of us. So we're literally walking out with these little flannel things. You're naked. You had a flannel on your flannel. She forced you guys to go nude. <laughs> We're like sliding up the wall to find the pool, and we get to the pool, and most of the people are in bathers. So, so why? So why? what was the deal? Well, you, they, you were a Westerner, so they. Yeah, you need to I be don't annoyed. know. There was there were some that were clearly regulars, and they just didn't care. like the Europe, a lot of Europeans. They don't care. They don't. They don't eyelid at it. So but, gonna, are you telling me that all it takes to get you naked is one hefty Turkish woman <laughs> <laughs> and you relinquish all of your rights? She was big. <laughs> <laughs> Very. Yeah, you wouldn't argue with her, Nathan. Erin, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. All of you are Sue, Laura and Erin in the running to live free for 23, which is great yes. news. But Erin, you're going to walk oh, away Aaron. 300 bucks to spend at Matilda Bay Restaurant. Matilda Bay Restaurant, Cray <laughs> On the bay, fresh local crayfish, just $49 from you can now wear, until the end of March. You can wear clothes, though, Aaron. Oh, so well, no, like... to be honest, we don't know. We've not been there for a while. You just do what <laughs> they <laughs> say. You just do what they say, Aaron. Yeah, all, right. all right. Thanks so much. Thanks, Depending right. on the size of the woman telling <laughs> Nathan, Matt and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.